Now before we move on to that first dance, I would like to share with you the love story of Sherilyn and Matthew. Sherilyn and Matthew officially met on October 27th in 2014. It was a Monday night. Matthew had booked an appointment at Sherilyn and Melissa's restaurant, Twist, to plan a bachelor party for his friend, Curtis. Curtis is, and was back then, a mutual friend to both CL and Matt, and he's here today and he's in the wedding party. Before that meeting at Twist, Sherilyn and Matthew had crossed paths a few times before, as they had many mutual friends that they would soon discover. Sherilyn whipped up a plan for Curtis's bachelor party super quick, and her and Matthew got to talking about where they might know each other from. From that night until Curtis's stag, Sherilyn and Matthew would text each other here and there. It was now the night of Curtis's stag, and Sherilyn knew many of the guests. After the party at Twist wrapped up, the group was going out to continue the fun and invited Sherilyn to join, who in turn invited one of her friends, Mindy, to come along. Both Matthew and Sherilyn knew that the other was going to be at this bar. And so when Sherilyn and Mindy arrived before the guys, they went to dance. Sherilyn was keeping her eyes open for when Matthew would arrive. She finally noticed him walk into the bar, and Matthew was obviously looking for her too. And you guessed it, their eyes met from across the crowded room. They locked in a glance for a few seconds and smiled and waved. They hung out more that night and continued to get to know each other. Sherilyn remembers creeping Matt's Facebook to find out that he was a chef. She was excited about that. Matthew travels for work, so when he comes back, when he came back home for Christmas, he would visit Sherilyn at the restaurant. The next time Matthew had to leave for work, it was going to be gone for three months. This is when the daily texts, phone calls, videos, and pictures started between the two. Their feelings for each other were deepening, but they were still so far apart. During this time, they started counting down the days until Matthew would return, so that they could finally see each other again. Now, not only were they counting down the days to see each other, they had planned it to be their first kiss also. Knowing when your first kiss is, is not something most people actually know, but they did, and that day was going to be March 25th, 2015. <laughs> Matthew arrived back home, and he went to see Sherilyn. She saw him walking from a distance, and when he got to her, she put her head on his chest, just for a moment, and then they had their first kiss. The next day, Sherilyn and Matthew went on their official first date at the Cypress Club. From there, they did it for about two years. It was at Christmas time in 2016 at a gathering at Melissa and Andrew's house where everyone was sharing stories and preparing food that Matthew gazed across the room to see Sherilyn's sweet, smiling face. That is when he knew that she was the one he wanted to spend the rest of his life with. The proposal was calculated. Matthew knew it would happen on July 12th, 2017. With his travel and all, he had to be very organized. Matthew chose that date, July 12th, because it was the day of the Ottawa Blues Festival, and Sherilyn and Matthew were to already be going traveling to Montreal for vacation. Not only that, on that first day of the festival, 
there was a singer called Gary Clark Jr. who was to perform. And he has a song called Our Love. Matthew thought at this festival in Ottawa, when this singer plays this song, this is when I'm going to propose. Matthew convinced Cheryl Lynn to fly to Ottawa first, then drive to Montreal. The plan was in motion. So far, Sherilyn had no idea Matthew was about to propose. Funny story, just six months before this trip to Ottawa, while on vacation in Mexico, after a few too many drinks, Sherilyn leaned over to Matthew and told him, just for the record, I would say yes. And I'm just saying, you can ask me any time, because I'm in. Back to Ottawa, Matthew had upgraded their plane tickets. Sherilyn still had no idea. Matthew had upgraded their hotel room to a suite. Still, no clue on CL's part. Matthew had semi-VIP tickets to the festival. Still, nothing. They finally arrived in Ottawa, on the red eye. It was very cloudy, windy, and rain was on the way. Running on fumes, they checked into the hotel, and they headed out to the festival. It starts to rain. Sherilyn is cold, her shoes hurt, and they're surrounded by a pretty ruckus crowd of people. Matthew's trying to keep it all together. The next thing you know, Gary Clark Jr.'s on the stage. It's a full-on downpour at this point. Oh my god, he's singing our love. But in the middle of all that, Matthew thought it wouldn't be the right time for this romantic proposal. <laughs> the concert ends. They're wet, they're hungry, and they're tired. They went into town to grab a bite to eat and a drink before returning to the suite. It's almost midnight now, and Cheryl is relaxing on the couch with a glass of wine, listening to a playlist that Matthew put together. The song that just came on, Our Love, and Matthew says, I have one more surprise for you. Kneeling down on bended knee, Matthew takes out the ring and asks Sherilyn to marry him. Can you guess what Sherilyn's reaction was? Well, it was a series of shut the F up over and over. Matthew had to stop her and say, are you going to answer the question? Of course, she said yes. Friends and family, I would like to share with you exactly how Sherilyn ended her version of the love story. And I quote, Matthew is the perfect man for me because he is kind, patient, and loving. He's humble, smart, funny, silly, and chill. We are eternal tourists together. We share many joys together. It's just a simple, tight union. And, of course, he has beautiful eyes and curly hair. <laughs> this is how Matthew ended his version of the love story, and I quote, Sherilyn is the love of my life for many reasons. She will stand beside me in the best of times and in the worst of times, always having my back no matter what. Sherilyn is a strong and supportive when I second-guess myself, feel anxious or lack confidence. CL has a strong voice of reason who loves to debate and chat about life, which has led us to some late night marathon conversations. I love her smile, her sense of humor, and admire her endless love for her friends and family across the continent. Ladies and gentlemen, we all now get to take part in their love story as Cheryl Lynn and Matthew will share their first dance together as husband and wife.